Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can send a custom email to ticket buyers after the order's complete. We're gonna use two technologies in this email. One is called zapier.com, and the other one is called Mailgun. And um, I'll show you how to set it up, and you can use this as a base to do other customizations in the future as well, too. All right, let's get started. So from the Zapier Create Zap page, we're gonna look for simple ticks, and now we're gonna choose from two options, Mailgun or SendGrid. This will be the tool that actually sends the email to the ticket buyers. You, we, you could use um, Mandrill by MailChimp, but we don't really recommend it for this. So for this example, we're gonna use Mailgun. And the trigger will be when the new order is complete. So that's the new order. And the action will be to send an email. Awesome, we'll click try it now. And this is gonna build out the template for us. We'll click get started. And now we'll choose the SimpleTix account that we've already authenticated with Zapier. If you haven't done this yet, you can do it now. And the order status will be complete. Our next step is to connect Zapier to Mailgun. This is a brand new Mailgun account, so I'll have to connect it to my Zapier account. And now I'm gonna paste in my credentials from Mailgun into Zapier. So I'll toggle over here to the API keys and I'm gonna grab my private API key. So I'll click the eyeball here to expose it. I'm gonna copy it and paste it into the first text box. The domain name is the one that I've already authenticated with Mailgun to send email out. So I'll paste that one in and now we're connected. All right, now Zapier is connected to Mailgun. We don't have to do this stuff again now. If we do any other future zaps, it's already done for us. So now we'll choose next to continue. And right now we're basically gonna compose our template uh, for the email. So I'll choose next here. All right, so the very first thing is to put in the from address. Now you might be tempted to put the buyer's um, email address in here, but you don't wanna do that because it's gonna raise a bunch of spam flags because you know Gmail will think it's suspicious. So we recommend putting your email address in here and it has to be the one that's already set up inside of Mailgun, so it's considered a trusted email address. All right, the two address will be the buyer. So we'll click email here. And the subject will be something that, um, basically whatever the subject you want to be. Um, in this case, it's gonna say like extra information for this particular event. So we definitely recommend putting the event title in the subject. So you can look for event title or show title. Um, in this list here. And now these are all the fields that are coming from um, simple sex uh, for the order. So um, show title looks good, or you can use the event title, either one. And if you want to jazz it up by putting some more details, such as, you know, details for, and put that um, as a prefix before the show title, do it like this. Now for the email body, we really can just choose anything right now because we're going to overwrite this in a few minutes. So um, I'll just pick something random here for the email body HTML and the same for the text. And don't worry, we're gonna overwrite this in a few seconds here. I'll click send test and the send test is just to verify that your mailgun is corrected and the emails are going out. And we can always go into mailgun and look at logs just to see if that email was actually sent. And I can see here that it was sent. Groovy. All right, let's go back and um, modify this template some more. So I'll choose next and I'll turn the zap on and you don't really have to do this, but I'm just turning it on just for now um, because we might do some tests on the website. I'll click manage zap and now I want to edit this zap. So I'll click view and editor. All right. So now we're going to craft the email body. Um, we pretty much have a URL that we can go to to get it, but we're going to need to scrape it and get that content and put it into the zap. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so we'll add a new step to our zap here by clicking the plus sign. And I'll search for webhooks right now. And this is webhooks by Zapier. Um, it's a premium feature, just letting you know the free Zapier account won't work. And the event will be get. I'll choose continue. And now I'm gonna go for this URL right here. This is a URL that exposes all the information about the order 
and um, we're gonna use this URL to pretty much make our email. So I'll paste in the, the, the whole URL here, but I'm gonna trim off the two query strings. The query string is order identifier. Um, we're gonna put that here in this part below. Um, Zapier recommends that we use this um, these text boxes below for the query strings. So the first query string is gonna be order identifier. The next one is hide tickets. We can put them in any order, it's totally fine. So in this particular um, instance, we're not gonna include e-tickets on the email. So I'm gonna say hide tickets is a one. And the order identifier, I'm gonna select it from the order information that came into Zapier from SimpleTix. FYI, if you did want to include the e-tickets, you can just not mention hide e-tickets. You can leave it as a zero or don't include it at all. Okay, so all the action parts are now complete. So I'll choose the continue button here. And now I'll click test action, just to make sure everything's working correctly. And here we can see all the HTML that came from Simple Six. I'll choose continue. And let's go ahead back, um, let's pretty much go back to our email template to modify it some more. So over here it says email body HTML. I'm gonna change this to point to that get that happened with um, the webhooks from Zapier and pretty much use that response. And the email body text, this is kind of a no-no, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the exact same as well, too. Um, you, you really want to put, you know, a text-only kind of field here. But for now, I'll just go ahead and use the HTML. And now I'll choose Continue and click Test Action. Now this is the email. If you notice it doesn't mention e-tickets at all on the email. So if this was your goal today, well, you've pretty much solved it. This is as far as you need to go. However, if you'd like to make some modifications, such as maybe we'll change, have some questions about this event to say something else, well, stay tuned. I'll show you how to do that next. Now let's say you wanted to include some special information on the email, such as a contact information, maybe a URL to your conference, anything, maybe even a graphic. Right now, I'll show you an example of how you can replace the contact the organizer statement with something custom. And just consider this a base. You can kind of use this for any other changes that you'd like to make. So just like before, I'll click the plus sign to create another action. And for the app, um, I'll look for Formatter by Zapier. You can just type in Format there to quickly find it. And the event is going to be text. Um, text is going to allow us to do our find and replace. So I'll choose text here. And now I will click continue. And the action is going to be replace. So I can type in replace here in the search, or I can scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and click on it. Here it is. So I'll click on replace. And the input is going to be the text that came from the earlier webhook. So I'll click input and that webhook from Zapier, I'll click on the result which is part two here. And the find is anything I want to replace on that, um, that email. In this case, it's have questions about the event question mark is the exact text that I'm gonna try and find and replace. And what you replace it with, well, that can be anything you want. Um, in this case, it's gonna be the URL to the conference homepage. Um, however, if you had like a culinary event and you wanna put like a recipe card here, you could do that or like a link to a Dropbox, um, you know, recipe, PDF, whatever it is, um, you can put that as well here. Um, but in this case, we're just telling them to go to this particular URL if you have questions about the event. So I'm done, I'll click continue and I'll click test action just to verify everything's working okay. Now we have a couple more steps. Um, since we're sending that email through Mailgun, we have to change the, um, the text. Before it was just going directly from the webhook, but we want that actually to come from the find and replace. So um, this part right here, the email body, I'll choose number three, which is the output of the text formatter because it's been, you know, the whole find and replace is already done. So we wanna grab you know, the output of that. So I'll choose it for both of these boxes. I'll click continue and I'll click test action. Now let's check our inbox. And as you can see, it's formatted correctly. The find and replace happened. Now, if you only have one event, you don't need to do this next step. 
But let's say you have multiple events and you only want this custom email to go out if it's this one particular event called the Berlin Yoga Conference. So what we're gonna do is add a filter. We're gonna do it between step one and step two. We're gonna put it right in there. It's called a filter and it's only gonna continue if this order contains this Berlin Yoga Conference. If it doesn't contain it, it'll escape. It'll just, it won't continue with it. Um, but if it does contain Berlin Yoga Conference, um, we'll continue with the rest of the steps here. All right, so what we're gonna say is only continue if order items event title is Berlin Yoga Conference. So I'll choose that from the list. And again, this is all information that comes um, from Civil Text to Zapier. The condition will be contains, and I will type in the event title called Berlin Yoga Conference manually in here. And then I'll click continue to verify if this would have worked based on the last zap. And as we can see here, it would have worked. However, I don't recommend doing this. I recommend using the event ID or the show ID instead because it's more foolproof. Um, if you ever change the event title, this will break essentially. So using the event ID is much safer. And that event ID, by the way, you can see it in the URL of the event. In this case, it's 75412. So I'll put show ID um, for the contains and I'll click continue. And just like before, we can see it works. Yep, it would have worked. So I'll go through all the continue buttons here to do one final test. I'll have to continue like five times at least. And continue and continue. And then finally I can publish this one more time. All right, now our zap is published. So by default at Simple Six, we'll always email the buyer and the attendees their e-tickets and order confirmation after the order is complete. However, if you don't want us to send that email, let us know. Shoot an email to support at SimpleTix.com and we will turn that feature off. And you can use the technology that we showed you in today's video to take care of sending that order confirmation over to the attendees. And that's kind of handy because if you don't want to use e-tickets, in this video I showed you how you can hide that on, on the email. Uh, make sure you have an account on Mailgun or SendGrid to take care of sending that outbound email. Uh, make sure you have the right account. For example, if you have an account that only gives you, you know, 200 free sends a month and you're expecting 1,000 orders, well, you'll need to upgrade your account. So just double check if you have a free account that it's big enough to handle what you're doing in SimpleTix, or if you need a paid account, just make sure it's the appropriate size. Well, thanks for watching this video today. Um, click that like button if you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel because Rose dropping you know, tips and tricks and hacks and things to do with Simple Ticks to make it better. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.